Well, here I am again with a, another uh, video clip. This one from my grandfather, taken as you can see here in uh, September of 1933 of Mission San Juan Capistrano. Well, he starts out here with uh, some of uh, the old adobe walls. They're several feet thick, probably left over from the original construction. Uh, you see a lot of damage there. I think just wear and tear the weather. And of course, the earthquake of 1812 destroyed uh, a lot of the mission, including the Great Stone Church. Well, here's the original sign, at least the way it read in 1933. And I'll tell you, it's still worth a visit if you haven't been in a while. Now, there is uh, that cross there, I believe, is in the, uh, the old mission cemetery, which is close to the uh, Sarah Chapel and, and Bell Wall which you'll see in a minute here, which was, uh, was built, uh, I think, a year after the 1812 quake. Uh, if you look right there, you can see my mom and, and my uncle. <laughs> there they are sitting on the wall there. I'm sure it's totally safe. Uh, <laughs> I love uh, the, the pictures here of my mom and uncle with the uh, pure white uh, pigeons, I guess. I, um, you don't see those uh, anymore like that. They've been replaced with uh, the typical pigeon we see around here I like to refer to as the uh, a gutter rat, although I, I don't think the mission likes that name. But uh, here we see the uh, bell wall on the other side. Again, I think this was made uh, uh, following the, um, the 1812 quake. Uh, two of the bells, the big ones I think had to be recast, the two smaller ones I think are original. I believe that's the end of the Sarah Chapel you see right there. Now this, this next footage you see here, I coming up here, let's see, they got a, uh, I think that's the entrance, maybe you go through there, you end up in the large central courtyard. Not sure where that bell is there. I don't remember seeing it on my visits. It, but this, I believe, is a large central courtyard, which you see is filled with plants and, and they had ornamental flowers. At one time, uh, uh, when uh, John Forster owned it, I believe uh, this was just an open area. Uh, it was a private ranch for a while, and he actually, I think, held bullfights in the center of this thing. If you go there now, it's, uh, I think, uh, kind of manicured and, and uh, it's beautiful. Again, if you haven't been in a while, you should take a trip. All right. Thanks for listening. Aloha.